I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everyone knows it's bad. It's a depression. Everyone's out of work or scared to lose their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. The banks are going bust. Punks are running wild in the street and no one seems to know what to do about it or even care. We know our air is unfit to breathe and our food is unfit to eat. And we sit and we watch our TVs and our local newscasters tell us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad. They're worse than bad, they're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy and no one seems to know what to do about it. So we stay in our homes and the world we're living in is slowly getting smaller and smaller. And then we say, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let us have our, our, our sofas and our TVs and our iPods and we won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. Now, I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to write. I don't want you to write your local congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression or the inflation or the oil prices or the terrorists or the crime in the street. All I know is that first you got to get mad. You got to say, I'm a human being and my life has value. So you know what I want you to do? I want you to get up. I want you to get up out of your chairs, go to your window, open it up, stick your head out, and say, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Go to, your, go to your window, open it up, and scream, I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. And then things will change. And then we'll know what to do about the oil prices and the terrorists and the crime in the street and the depression and the inflation. But first, you got to get mad.